I mean, come on, Richard. As far as Pied Piper is concerned, he's as pointless as Mass Effect 3's multiple endings. I mean, he's a completely useless appendage, and we all know it. Oh, hey, man. Forgot my water bottle. Just gonna grab it, and then probably walk right back through one more time. I mean, Mass Effect 3? Harsh. This video quality is great, right? Looks so sharp. That's what we do here at Pied Piper. It's, it's very impressive. Um, I will have to tell my boyfriends all about it. Boyfriend? No, mentioned a boyfriend. Oh, no. Um, this is because he's now just husband. Um, I keep forgetting to say this, husband, but... It is very good to see you this way, and we will talk more tomorrow. Yeah, we'll talk. Either she froze time, met and married the man of her dreams, unfroze time and hopped back onto vid chat with you, or you're the dog face. Which do you think it is? I'm on the fence. Now, I only ordered one as a sample, but, but once I have your sizes, we can all have them. Why would we all want them? One is already too many. And I don't mean in the house, I mean like in the world. Now, Guilfoyle, I have you at about a 40 long, am I right? If my mother was naked and dead in the street, I would not cover her body with that jacket. <laughs> Guilf. <laughs> hey, does this seem odd to you? What? So, our user numbers have been growing for days, but our coin value is flat. It hasn't budged at all. I thought the two would be correlated at least a little bit. Yeah, should be. Sorry, I don't mean to rain on the parade. I find parades to be impotent displays of authoritarianism. Whose bag is this? Um... Scoot over. Oh. If the rise of an all-powerful artificial intelligence is inevitable, well, it stands to reason that when they take power, our digital overlords will punish those of us who did not help them get there. Here go. I would like to be a helpful idiot, like yourself. Okay, look, Gelfoyle, the only thing that could make my day more miserable is listening to an engineer blather on about the inevitable rise of the machines. So, you want to help? Test the initialization for me. Roger that. Oh, I'm going to need email confirmation so that our future overlords know that I chipped in. You know, once they absorb all data. There we go. It's bad enough it has to talk. Does it need fake vocal tics? Like, uh... Well, it just makes it sound more human. Humans are shit. This thing is addressing problems that don't exist. It's solutionism at its worst. We are dumbing down machines that are inherently superior. Whatever you give your server a human name, you named it Anton. Yeah, but Anton doesn't call me anything. He grimly does his work, and he sits motionless. Till it's time to work again. We could all take a page from his book. Well, did you hack into it or not? My feeling is, if you're the CEO of a company and you're dumb enough to leave your login info on a post-it note on your desk while the people that you fucking ripped off are physically in your office, it's not a hack. It's barely social engineering. It's more like natural selection. Fucking ninja. Why would she lie about using the beta? Yeah, why would Dinesh lie about having friends? Why would Tara lie to me about fucking other guys when we have a totally open and hedonistic relationship that allows for behavior like that? Because people like to lie, Richard. It's a war of all against all. The history of humanity is a book written in blood. We're all just animals in a pit. I feel very sad. Fucking Guilfoyle. There's just something so hot about a woman that can code like that, you know? I just want to <laughs> crawl in her front lobe and... <laughs> What's up? You know I wrote that code, right? No. This code was on her system. A banged-up 15-inch MacBook Pro with shitty stickers on it? Everyone here has a beat-up 15-inch MacBook with Pro. With a 1.3 chip and only 2 gigs of RAM? She doesn't know Java. I wrote that code. You said you were in love with her mind. <sighs> You realize what's going on, right? It's not her you're sexually attracted to, it's my code. Shut the f- That is the most disgusting fucking thing I've Just ever Just face it, Dinesh. 
You're gay for my code. You're code gay. No, no, I'm into her. Her, okay? Fuck your code. You'd like to fuck my code, wouldn't you? What do I do? System architecture, networking and security. No one in this house can touch me on that. Okay, that's good to know. But does anyone appreciate that? While you were busy minoring in gender studies and singing a cappella at Sarah Lawrence, I was gaining root access to NSA servers. I was one click away from starting a second Iranian revolution. I actually went to Vassar. I prevent cross-site scripting. I monitor for DDoS attacks, emergency database rollbacks, and faulty transaction handlings. The internet, heard of it, transfers half a petabyte of data every minute. Do you have any idea how that happens? All those U-porn ones and zeros streaming directly to your shitty little smartphone day after day? Every dipshit who shits his pants if he can't get the new dubstep Skrillex remix in under 12 seconds? It's not magic, it's talent and sweat. People like me ensuring your packets get delivered unsniffed. So what do I do? I make sure that one bad config on one key component doesn't bankrupt the entire fucking company. That's what the fuck I do. I mean, that's basically what I told him.